Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how you can honor someone with his or her forever postage stamp. This relatively quick tutorial is fun and easy. This document is 1280 by 720 pixels with a resolution of 72 pixels per inch. Let's make this layer black. Making sure your foreground color is black, press Alt or Option plus Delete. Double click on the layer and type in the word base. Go to view and make sure rulers and snap are checked. Press Control or Command T to call up your transform tool and then click on the ruler and drag out the guideline until it snaps to the center. Click on the left ruler and drag that guideline out. Call up your rectangular marquee tool and go to the crosshairs of the guidelines. Press Shift and Alt or Shift and Option as you click and drag out a square selection. In the Layers panel, click on the New Layer button and click on the foreground color and type in 95% for the brightness. Press Alt or Option plus Delete to fill that selection with that value. Click on the Paths tab and then click on the button to the right of it. Click Make Work Path. Keep the default tolerance setting to 0.5 pixels. Press the letter B to call up your brush tool and then F5 to call up your brush presets window. We're going to use our brush to actually create the perforations around the perimeter of our stamp. Uncheck any boxes that might be in the brush tip shape. I'm choosing a size of 30 pixels, a hardness of 100%, and the spacing is 151%. Depending on the size, shape, and resolution of your stamp, You'll have to adjust the percentage number of the spacing so the perforations on the corners will be the same. Click anywhere in the empty area of the path panel to deactivate the work path. Let's close our brush preset window and open the layers panel. Go to select and color range. Click on the area outside the stamp, slide the fuzziness to 200, and make sure the box is not checked for localized color clusters. Press Control shift i or Command shift i to invert the selection. Click the New Layer button and then press the letter I to call up your eyedropper tool. Click down to call up the color and then press Alt or Option plus Delete to fill the selection with that color. Now we can drag the layer below it to the trash since we don't need it anymore. Click on the base to make it active. Let's change its color. Click on the foreground color. Choose a color that's relatively muted. Click on the stamp layer to make it active and double click it to call up its layer style window. Click on drop shadow and change the distance to 6 pixels and the size to 5. Click on inner shadow and change the blend mode to normal. Click on the color box and change it to white. The opacity is 100%, the distance is 4, and the size is 2. Press Ctrl or Command H to hide the guidelines. We're ready to make our window to place our photo into. Call up your rectangular marquee tool and click a little in on the lower right area of your stamp. Press Shift as you click and drag out. Click on the New Layer button and then click the Layer Mask button. Click off the chain link between the layer and its layer mask. This will allow us to move our photo inside the layer mask without the layer mask moving along with it. Call up your photo you want to place in your stamp and press Ctrl or Command A to select the entire image and Ctrl or Command C to copy it. Click on the tab of the stamp document to open it and press Ctrl or Command V to paste your photo into your stamp. Press V to call up your Move tool and click to reposition your photo. To resize your photo, press Ctrl or Command T to call up your Transform tool. Go to a corner and press Shift and Alt or Shift and Option to drag the photo in from the center. Press Enter or Return to accept it. Press Ctrl or Command J to make a copy of your photo. Go to Filter, Pixelate, and color halftone. We'll keep the default settings and make sure the maximum radius is 4 pixels. 
We're going to blend this color halftone into the original photo by decreasing its opacity to 50%. We're ready to set our text. Click on the Type tool and click on the Character Text box. I'm choosing a font called Air Conditioner, which you can download for free at defont.com. Click on the color box and choose a color for the name. Type in the name and go to View and click on Snap to deactivate it. Call up your Move tool to reposition the text. Because we deactivated Snap, the text won't try to snap to any particular position. Let's set our second line of text. Open your Type tool and click on your document. I'm choosing Arial Regular. I'll decrease the size a bit and click on the color. I'll choose a dark gray, press OK, and set the text. I'll highlight Forever and change it to Arial Black. I'll highlight the entire line and increase the size. I'll call up my Move tool and press Control or Command T to call up the transform. Go to a corner and when you see a double curved arrow, press Shift and rotate it counterclockwise on its axis. Click inside the transform to move the text. When you're finished positioning it, press Enter or Return to accept it. Have fun creating a custom postage stamp for someone you'd like to honor. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.